my name is Tracy and um, this is the channel with me my dog bandit who's bouncing around trying to get into the last box I opened and my daughter Chloe and we do a lot of unboxings we do lifestyle subscriptions we do cosmetics we do nail uh, manicure type ones uh, my daughter typically comes in for like the fab fit fun and any box that she knows is gonna have snacks in it but she's at that age She's not that interested in a lot of stuff. She loves playing with the, the cosmetics from BoxyCharm and Ipsy. She doesn't really like to do the whole opening of it, though. So um, so we don't, I don't make her do that. And plus, when I do open things and I see things that I'd like to give her as a gift, I can stock it away and then she doesn't know. Bandit's almost always here. He's my constant companion and my little love bug. And he gave me this. So um, I feel like I have to tell you in each video because I don't want anybody, like, writing in, oh my God, what happened to you? Um, it was purely, he got caught up. He gets very excited um, when I come home and he gets under my feet and um, I fell. So I fell into a chair and pinched it. And so that's the results. All right, so today I have two subscription boxes I'm going to go over. One of them is my Maniology, and that is a manicure. Um, it's a nail stamping plate set, and this comes from Hawaii. And then the other one is my Bombay and Cedar. Is this the beauty box? What is this? I don't know. So I did stop the recurring subscription, so I don't know... If this is my last box, I know I had a couple more of the um, seasonal boxes that I had paid for. But I feel like I should be done with the beauty box. This could be the last beauty box. Pretty sure I was done with the um, monthly box. And I just, I kind of feel like the quality has gone down a little bit since they did the seasonal. Um, and a lot of the items I just wasn't real happy with. Um, you know, when I first got it, I really enjoyed it. Like, they had a lot of really creative things in there um, to kind of decrease plastic and things like that. Come here, baby. Um, but since then, I don't know. I feel like I got like two, two, on two different months, I got vegan cookbooks, which if you're vegan, that's great, but I'm not. Um, and so I'm like, oh, it's nice to look at, but I'm probably not going to make my own tofu um, or whatever it is. Uh, which there were like recipes like that. Um, my daughter does enjoy that. So I'm going to hold on to it and give it to her when she gets old enough to do more of her own cooking. Um, but there was just a lot of like weird stuff that I was just like, oh, I'm not really into that. So I don't know what I've got here. So I'll save that one for a second. And um, let me know, like, do you like multiple unboxings? They take longer. And I always say, I'm just going to breeze through, but I never breeze through. I, I never do. So let me know. Do you like multiple unboxings? What do you What do you like? I can do more multiples when I get some of these smaller boxes. Um, just let me know. Okay, so here is the box that she comes in there, and you open it up. And so the little card here is usually a sneak peek of the theme for the month. So every month is a different theme. And let's see. So there we go. Lacy details. It says there is a manicure tutorial in there. So it does go over how to get the look. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. It just depends on how complex it is. And then there's always these little stickers or there have been lately. They used to give pineapple gummies that were so good but I don't know there's no more pineapple gummies I don't know if it's a COVID thing or what it is but we have now usually you get two stamping plates two nail polishes and then some extra gift it looks like this month the extra gift was an extra stamping plate so I have three stamping plates and the two polishes so let's get into the polishes first oh, this is different so usually they both are kind of like circular, like all round like this, but this one has a little bit of a different cap. So we have, what are these colors? 
They're very rich colors, almost like a fall though to me. Like we're coming up on spring. All right, so this one is called Leather. And it looks like it has like a dark brown hue. And this one is called Lace. And this looks like it's got more of like a bluish, like a blue black. So I wonder if they're changing up their polishes from these to these. This does say swatch me. So, oh, I guess you can swatch. You know, I've been doing this for I don't know how long and I never realized that you swatch it up there. Okay. And like I said, we have three plates here. So, so this one, I think definitely goes with the set. So as you can see, it's got like these full ones, which are really nice because you can get your full nail and then they have these smaller ones. If you just want to do small detail or even something like this, where you can pick up a portion of it. These are super easy to use. If you've ever done rubber stamping, it's as simple as rubber stamping. You take the nail polish, you paint over whichever one, and it doesn't matter if you get it over a bunch, but you paint over the area that you want to have on your nail. They, you get a, they give you a scraper in your first box, you get the scraper and you get the little um, gel stamper. So you scrape it off and you take the gel cube, you pop it on there real quick and light, put it on your nail and um, just a nice kind of squish on there. And then you have the print. So they do sell these wraps that you can put around your nail um, so that you don't get it all over your fingers. You can also use some uh, petroleum jelly and then just wipe it off after or just regular scotch tape, which I've also used. So it's really super simple to do. And this is the other one that I believe goes with this set because it looks similar. So you've got the roses and the kind of lace. And then this looks like it does not go with the set, but is just kind of the extra for this month. And it's, oh, that kind of looks like a Halloween type one. It looks like a casket with some chains on it. And I don't know, it's kind of like a, maybe a steampunk type look. I'm not really sure. And it doesn't have a name, so it's not like I could read you the name. All right, so that is what I got in the Maniology. So let's see this other box here, what we have. Oh, getting it's back in action. It's like, what you got? You got any food in there? I don't know. I have no idea what I've got. None. Okay, so this is the February Lifestyle box, and I didn't make any selections because I didn't think I was getting the Lifestyle box, so I'm going to have to go check on my account and see if, um, if I'm really supposed to be, if they're still charging me, because I know I had prepaid, but I, when I looked on it, it didn't look like I had any months left. All right, so there are two oils in here, and it does go over the different oils and what they're good for. And then it talks about some therapy dough that's in here, which I know was a choice item. Um, would I have picked that? Yes, I would have. Okay. I'm assuming it's in there because they sent me a little card about it. All right. So when you open it up, you got all these squiggles. And then underneath are your products. And, oh, I don't want to make a mess. All right, so on the top, there is usually a snack every month. Andy, what are you doing? There we go. Get the bandy cam going on. What you doing, Bandit? What's in there? You don't know? Me either. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, no, no, no. Don't take that off there. All right, so we have some pip corn, heirloom popcorn. I have gotten this before. Um, this is sea salt flavor. I don't remember what flavor I got. No, this is all off from putting the bandy cam. Um, it's good, but it's just like tiny. It's like if you were eating popcorn and the little pieces of popcorn that are at the bottom of the bowl, that's kind of what this is. It's, oh, it's all right, but it's not very satisfying. And that is valued at $2. Okay, so 
Next, we have a vegan laundry stain remover bar. And let's see, it's all wrapped up. I believe it's scent free. I don't smell any scent. You smell anything, Bandit? What do you smell? You're smelling something. What are you smelling? So here's what it is. It looks like it's um, just a white laundry bar. It's an excellent and economical pretreatment for stains. Perfect for washing delicates in the sink or tub. Gluten-free, phosphate-free, and valued at $6. So I will definitely try this on my masks because at the end of the day, my masks are, you know, just have like some makeup on it and it's kind of gross. I, so I will try this on that and let you all know how it is. I did get some um, toilet bombs in a previous one and those work really well. All right. And so that was an everybody get. So there are four everybody gets the popcorn, this, and the two essential oils, which are usually in a little bag. Here we go. Okay, so here are the two oils. The scents are blissful and cedar wood. All right, so they're about this size. What are you doing, Bandit? So and that's a nice size for an essential oil. They are valued at, um, let's see, the cedar wood is valued at 14. And then the Blissful is one of their proprietary blends. And it says it's available in several blends. So you would have gotten one of several different scents um, valued between 17 and $24. Let's see if I can tell you a little bit. There was something in here that you really like. Okay, so the Blissful Blend has pink grapefruit, lemon, um, cassia, ginger, and peppermint. So I think I will like the Blissful Blend. I think, I think I'm glad I got that one. I don't know what the other scents were. It does say refresh on the picture. So, um, so who knows? All right, so the next is one of two will be included. So either a CBD Soul Soother Foot Patch by Sheer Brand, valued at $8, or a Car Freshener by Thomas Ferrier, valued at $6. So I would probably have liked to get the Soul Soother Foot Patch because um, that sounds kind of interesting and something I haven't tried. But, as usual, when they pick for me, I get not what I would have chosen, which is just a little air freshener thing. Um, I don't even smell anything with there. Um, it's double-sided with fragrant notes of coriander, lang mugget, rose, moss, lichen, and patchouli. And I am not a patchouli person, so if this smells even remotely of patchouli, it is going to... Um, it's all sealed up, so I can't I can't tell. But um, my guess is I am not going to hold on to this. I I'm just not a patchouli person. Another one of these will be included in your box. There was either going to be the blister blocker, and that is an anti-friction balm that creates an invisible barrier to help prevent blisters, um, which they say is really good for breaking in new shoes. Valued at $14.99. Or the Pinch Me Therapy Dough, valued at $14.99. I did get the dough. This is probably what I would have chosen. Um, and it's really nice. It's really cute. This one's in purple. I got one before in Smart Ass and Sass. I think it was green, maybe? And it was in a tin. This looks like it's in more of a jar. So I don't know if that's new packaging. But this is Spa is the scent. You probably would have gotten a variety of different sense um, because I do remember that that yes so it color and scent for relaxation and so there is what that looks like I don't know if I like I don't know if it's I don't know if I like the smell of that or not but it is you know it is that kind of dough that you can play with and I know who will like it because she took my last one. So it says it's in spa, but I almost can't tell if it's lavender, which I usually like, 
or if it's it almost had like a little bit of a patchouli smell all right so the next thing you would have gotten in um, one or two in your box i do remember that this was a choice i remember this coming across as a choice item but again because i didn't think i was getting the box i didn't choose so it was either the first aid clutch by bling sting which has it's like a little first aid kit it has six antiseptic cleansing wipes um, sting relief pads, alcohol pads, safety pins, cotton swabs, fabric bandages, knuckle bandages, finger bandages, butterfly bandages, gauze pads, gauze tape, and a rose gold gemstone hard case valued at $24.99 or a therapeutic rice pack by Onyx and Sage valued at $24.99. I'm going to show you that picture. Okay. And... I would have liked the therapeutic rice pack probably and I got the first aid clutch which will be useful I'll put it in my car um, but it is not what I would have chosen for myself all right and then the last is another um, choice item so and I I believe I believe I recall seeing this as well so the choices were a botanical hand wash by daily valued at $21, a vanishing cream, which was infused with chamomile and aloe vera and vitamin E, valued at $22.95, or a CBD balm, which is a combination of anti-inflammatory ingredients that harnesses the power of CBD for topical natural supports for muscles and joints, valued at $24.95. And I did get, so these were the different, the three different items. I did get the one that I would have chosen, which was the CBD balm. Um, just because I'm very interested in trying the CBD products and seeing what works. Um, I don't know. I don't. I haven't found one yet that I've been like, oh, that's incredible pain relief. Um, but maybe it's really more for aches, like muscle aches versus kind of some of the chronic pain that I live with. So um, it says the value of the box is between... $105.98 and $118.93. I think it's like about $40, $42 a month. Um, again, I thought that I had canceled it, so I am going to have to look into that and see. Um, it's not that it's not a nice box. It's just not what it used to be, I feel like. And um, I'm just not as excited about the products. And it's time to try some other boxes. You know, I do like that they focus on... Um, cruelty free items, um, things that are kind of more better for the environment. But um, I don't know, I just feel like the selection just isn't what it was. So let me know what you think though, if this is something that you really liked or um, if you're getting it or if you, what you think of the choice items, how they, how they chose them. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you know when new videos are coming out. And it was great sharing some time with you. And Bandit is now very much in need of water. He's very thirsty. So I have to go take care of that. And the kid wants to show me some pictures that she took. So I got to go look at those. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.